Welcome to our channel Bright Maths. In this video, we are going to learn about the types of sets. First, a set means it is a well-defined collection of objects. So, a set is a well-defined collection of objects. For example, the collection of natural numbers. We know the natural numbers that is 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. It is a well-defined collection. Therefore, it is a set. And this natural number set can be taken like this. Capital N equal to within set bracket x such that x is a natural number. Writing like this is called set builder form. Next, the same set can be taken like this by listing the numbers. So, the natural numbers means 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. We can write like this, capital N equal to within bracket 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. Now, let us see the types of sets. First, type empty set or null set. In the name itself, see the word empty, that means there is no element. So, a set consisting of no element is called the empty set or null set or void set. It is denoted by this symbol, null set symbol or this bracket without any element. For example, the set of all integers between 1 and 2. Between 1 and 2, there is no integer. That means it is a null set. Next, a singleton set. Here also in the name itself, we have the word single. That means there is a single element. So, a set which has only one element is called a singleton set. Example, the set of all even prime numbers. We know that the prime numbers are 2, 3, 5, 7, etc. In that, there is only one even number that is 2. So, 2 is the only one even prime number. Since we have only one element, this is called a singleton set. Next, finite set. A set with finite number of elements is called a finite set. Here, finite means countable. So, if you are able to count the number of elements, then it is called a finite set. For example, the set of family members. So, we can able to count the number of members in our family. That means it is a finite set. Next, infinite set. A set which is not finite is called an infinite set. Here, infinite means we are not able to count all the numbers or elements in this set. For example, the set of all points on a line. In a line, we have so many points we are not able to count all the points on a line. So, it is an infinite set. Next, equal sets. Two sets are said to be equal if they contain exactly the same elements. For example, let us take two sets. In set A, we have 1, 2, 3, 4. And in set B also, we have same elements, 1, 2, 3, 4. The order may be different, but we have same elements. So, the two sets are said to be equal. Next, equivalent sets. Two sets are said to be equivalent if they contain the same number of elements. It is written as A is equivalent to B. This symbol is equivalent. For example, consider the two sets A and B. Here in the set A, we have 1, 2. 
and in the set B we have 5, 6. Here the elements are different but the number of elements same. That is n of A equal to 2 and n of B equal to 2. So in set A we have 2 elements, in set B also 2 elements. So if the number of elements are equal then we say that the sets are equivalent. Next is subset. Let A and B be two sets. If every element of A is also an element of B, then A is called a subset of B. We write A is a subset of B. So this symbol is subset. For example, the set 1 is a subset of the set 1, 2, 3. And also we can write the set 1, 2, 3 is a subset of the same set 1, 2, 3. And here note that the subsets of 1, 2, 3 are null set 1, 2, 3 and then 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 1 and then the same set 1, 2, 3. All these are subsets of the set 1, 2, 3. Next, proper subset. Let A and B be two sets. If A is a subset of B and A is not equal to B, then A is called a proper subset of B. We write capital A is a proper subset of capital B. So this symbol is proper subset. For example, the set 1, 2 is a proper subset of the set 1, 2, 3. Here the condition is A not equal to B. So we should not take the same set as proper subset. And note that the sets 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 1 are all proper subsets of the set 1, 2, 3. And see the difference between these two, subset and proper subset. In subset, we can include null set and also the set itself. But in proper subsets, we should not include null set and the set itself. Next, disjoint sets. If A intersection B equal to null set, then A and B are said to be disjoint sets. For example, take the two sets A and B. In set A, we have 20, 22, 23, 24. And in set B, we have 25, 30, 40, 45. And we can observe that there is no common. These two are different sets. So there is no common. The intersection is null set. Therefore, the sets are disjoint sets. Next, overlapping sets. If A intersection B is not equal to null set, that means there is a common. Then A and B are said to be overlapping sets. For example, take the two sets A and B. In set A, we have 20, 22, 23, 24. And in set B, we have 20, 30, 40, 50. And here we can note that there is one common element. Here 20 is the common number. So the intersection is not null set. We have a common number. Therefore, the sets are overlapping sets. Next, universal set. A universal set is a set which contains all the elements of all the sets under consideration. It is usually denoted by capital letter U. 
so simply universal set means take and write all the elements so in natural numbers if we consider natural numbers take and write all the natural numbers within bracket that is called u so u equal to x such that x belongs to natural number that is n so that means 1 2 3 4 etc next power set the set of all subsets of A is called the power set of A. It is denoted by P of A. For example, if we take the set A equal to 2 comma 3, then we have to write all the subsets of 2 comma 3. So the subsets of 2, 3 are null set 2, 3 and then 2 comma 3. These are the subsets of 2 comma 3. So take all the subsets that is called power set P of A. These are the types of the sets. So there are 12 types in sets. We can remember all the 12 types very easily. Compare and remember two, two types. First two types empty set and singleton set. Empty set means no elements. Singleton set means single element. Next remember finite and infinite both together. Finite means countable elements. Infinite means uncountable elements. Next remember these two together equal sets and equivalent sets. Equal sets means the elements are equal. But equivalent set means number of elements are equal. Next remember subset and proper subset together. Subset means the set itself can be a subset of the given set. But proper subset means 1,2 is a proper subset of 1, 2, 3. Next remember disjoint and overlapping together. Disjoin means uh, no common. Overlapping means there is any common element. And finally, remember these two universal set and power set. Universal set means uh, write all the elements. Power set means write all subsets. So like that we can remember all the 12 types very easily. Thanks for watching.